So here at the hospital, you deal with uh, animals of all sorts, everything from horses, pigs, goats, even sheep, which brings us to our next story, one I think you'll enjoy, because sheep are a very important part of the economy of one particular community in the Southwest, the community around Roswell, New Mexico, a town better known for, well, you'll see. The museum, the stores, restaurants, even the streetlights tell you this is an otherworldly place. In 1947, Roswell, New Mexico made news when a UFO, many say a flying saucer, or some sort of weather balloon crashed into a cliff outside town. So this is where it actually hit, right here, right? right Supposedly. Into that, right into that wall in front of us. Whoa. More than 60 years later, the so-called Roswell incident continues to draw hundreds of thousands of visitors annually. Okay, Mike, I, I would have to believe most people come to Roswell, New Mexico, hoping to have some sort of close encounter with aliens. That's what this place is known for. And here you are trying to pull the wool over all these folks' eyes, saying this is actually the wool capital of the United States, if not the world. That's right. What's up with that? Yeah, we're standing in Roswell, New Mexico, the hub of the best wool in the United States. Mike Korn is a local yeah. sheep rancher and a partner in Roswell Wool, the largest wool warehouse in the country. The company grades, stores, and sells raw wool from all over the western states. But its own New Mexico grown wool is the creme de la creme from a breed called Dibole. It's strictly a strength and color issue. I mean, you can travel the United States and look at wools and they don't have the brilliance of wool white. The whiter the wool is, means it's worth more to the processor because he can dye it any color he wants to and know that it's going to come out exactly the color he wants. This warehouse holds more than 2 million pounds of wool. That's at least 10% of the entire U.S. clip. Each bale on average is going to average around 45 to 50 sheep. Since the 1800s, Roswell has flourished as sheep ranching country. We caught up with Charlie Medina, who's been shearing sheep here for more than 50 years. You know, sheep shearing is an art. It's not just clipping them or whatever. It's an art. Gone are the old-fashioned hand-powered clippers, replaced by the surgically sharp electric variety. Sheep are sheared once a year in the spring. Charlie gets the job done in minutes, essentially shaving the sheep in smooth, long strokes. Is it very difficult to get it off in one big piece like that? Oh, yeah, you need to learn how to do it. <laughs> well, you've had plenty of practice. Oh, yeah. While time has slowed him down, Charlie still clips up to 60 sheep a day. But beware, in the untrained hand, these things can do some damage. Sometimes you can cut yourself. But it's pretty rare when you learn how to do it. I'm no barber, but I did give it a try. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Oh, boy. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> oh, I think she likes it. A little more? Okay. Oh, then, out behind the shearing wagon, something caught our attention. An abandoned newborn lamb in a lot of trouble. What's happening here is this little guy, who's probably not even 24 hours old, is being completely ignored by its mother. It's down on the ground, it's weak, and if we don't reconnect it with the mother very soon, it's uh, probably not going to make it. So Mike separated the mother from the flock. Come on, buddy. Now we're going to fix you up with your mama. He Come put on, mom buddy. and baby back Come together, on. giving the newborn its first taste of mother's milk. Come on, buddy. You're that close. There his little tail start going. He's a happy camper now. Weeks later, our little lamb was doing just fine. When he grows up, he'll get an annual buzz cut doing his part to feed the demand for wool. 
Uh, men's seating is what's keeping the wool industry, has been keeping the wool industry alive for the last few years. It's not women's wear, which is where we've lost some ground. But that market may rebound as technology advances. On the horizon, wool products that are machine washable. And for you sensitive types, won't scratch your skin. While wool fuels Roswell's economy, it still takes a back seat to tourists who flock into town like so many sheep, looking for aliens and a souvenir or two. I, sh I don't know that I should share the information I'm going to share with you, but the alleged crash scene is on my brother's property. Oh. So we know all the stories about the aliens. And, um, do you believe them? I believe something happened there. I do believe that, and I'm not going to say it's aliens, but I can guarantee you something very, very important happened there. And it wasn't a weather balloon.